Today, we're looking at structure. This is the story circle. Here we have eight steps to guide us through the journey of fleshing out our story from fade in to fade out. Let's go. We start with you. Here we meet the main character. Who is your story about? Here you introduce the world and you identify your main character's comfort zone. Our story starts with our characters in a familiar place and they're about to learn something that is going to shake up their world as they know it. In Legally Blonde, Al Woods is living her best life, dreaming of her fairy tale proposal. In Room, Brie Larson's character, Ma, is trapped in a garden shed where she secretly dreams of one day escaping with her son. From here, we move to need. We see the story take shape as a need is introduced. A problem, a question, or an opportunity arises. And this introduces the goal that the main character will pursue from here on out. After Al Woods gets stumped for not being serious enough, she wants to prove to her ex that she's the perfect girl for him. Ma, Brie Larson's character, realizes that her son is getting older and more curious, all the while the man who kidnapped her is becoming more dangerous. Her goal is to escape before it's too late. Next, it's go. If you watched my video where I listed some of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started writing screenplays, you would have seen that something I really struggled with at the beginning was writing passive main characters. Well, that all changes here because this step is about introducing the agency that the main character needs to go after their goal. I mean, we all want to root for a character who is actively pursuing their goal. And this is the step where we see our main character take that first giant leap in the direction of their goal. Here we see Al Woods apply to law school and Mark comes up with an escape plan. Moving on to search. So as our main character works towards their goal, a whole bunch of obstacles now get in the way. In this step, your character is confronted with all of the problems that they need to overcome to achieve their goal. In the last video of the series, we introduced six things that need fixing. So this could be an opportune time for you to bring in some of the things that rattle your main character. We see our words get into law school, but things aren't this easy. No, she finds out her ex has a fiance. Not only that, the professors break Al's spirit, and on top of everything else, she struggles to fit in. Jack learns the truth about how old Nick kidnapped his mom. After his mom explains the escape plan to him, he's frightened. For someone so young, the entire hope of their future relies on him. Also, Ma realizes that her plan could go entirely wrong, resulting in Jack getting hurt and the uncertainty of the outcome, especially since Jack has never seen light, never mind life outside of room, introduces a level of conflict that is honestly next level. But after search, we move to find. Here, the protagonist gets what they originally set out to achieve. However, they haven't found what they really need just yet. Something unexpected, something bigger lies ahead of them. Al gets over her ex, and she is selected as one of the few students to help with the real case, only to find that there is a secret shared with her that could immediately win the case, but that she's not allowed to make public. In Room, Jack follows the plan, even though it's a super close call, and Ma and him can return to normal life, only to find that things are about to start falling apart. Next, it's Take. Here, our protagonist takes some big knocks. We see our main character face something really difficult, like a death, a loss, maybe some sort of sacrifice, but the point is that there is a cost or a setback that occurs as a result of their original win. Elle originally wins the respect of her fellow students for getting into the select few who are helping on the real case, only to have one student inconveniently stumble upon her professor trying his luck with Elle. But in the moment, it seems like Elle had slept her way to where she is, as opposed to her needing to do the work that everybody else had to do. In Room, we see Ma break down in the real world. Her own father can't look at Jack, as he sees Jack as the outcome of a predator who kidnapped his daughter. Ma also struggles to readjust to normal life after being held captive for what seems to be the best years in the lives of people who were the same age as her. Things fall apart and she cannot look after Jack. Jack matures, but Ma turns into somewhat of a child. From here, we move to Return. Here, we start seeing the change that we so desperately want to see. Whether our protagonist has a win, learns a lesson, or has something said or done that triggers the change that brings us into the final moments of our movie. In Legally Blonde, Al Wood leans into her cosmopolitan roots and picks up on a detail that helps her win the case. Jack wishes to see Room one more time. Ma takes him. 
Jack is able to say goodbye to Rem, and even though it's emotionally gut-wrenching for Ma, she's able to do the same too. And our last step in the circle is change. Here we see the change that has occurred in the life of our protagonist. In some cases, you may have found that your protagonist actually changes for the worst, like in The Godfather. But in the two examples I'm about to share, we will see how our protagonists face change, both individually as characters, but we also see change in their worlds. Al has more ambition than being some guy's fiance. She's also passionate about law and moves on from just thinking about her appearance to actually making a difference in the real world. We see how Ma and Jack have moved from room and are now functioning and living in the real world. They are able to acknowledge where they have come from, but they are not held captive by their past. Let me know if the story structure impacted your writing and whether you were able to see your character go through a journey that saw them grow and change from who they were at the beginning of your story. What we did today will set us up for the next topic that we will dive into in the next video in the series as we continue in this journey of trying to write a screenplay in 30 days. So I'll see you in the next video. Good luck. Bye-bye. <laughs>